Hello again one and all, this is System Restore UK for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be looking at the Grotti Turismo R, which was one of the uh, vehicles that came through on the business update. In order to get this vehicle, you go through to Travel and Transport on a legendary motorsport.net and if you scroll down and keep going and going and going, there it is, one Grotti Turismo R. 500 grand, I think it said. Quite a motor for alienated all their old money consumers by releasing a hybrid sports car with fuel efficient is relative when you're talking about nearly 800 horsepower. Fuck me. 0 to 60 in under three seconds. Fuck me. And a top speed of 210 mile an hour. Fuck me sideways. Right, we have one of these. There it is. As you can see, it looks epic. It's such a good looking car. Um, Customisation options, obviously we're going to see what we can do with this in a minute, but just take a breath, boys and girls. I know there are a few super, supercars and hypercars in the game, but this is one of the better looking ones. It's just got such a gorgeous stance to it. I mean, look at that. I'm not sure on the colour. The colour is shagged, but got high hopes for the uh, high hopes for modifications on this one. So let's get in it. Let's take it down to Los Santos Customs and let's see what this motherfucker can do with it. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Change the colour. No ifs or buts, just change the colour. Colour's shit. Okay, let's repair it first. We've obviously got a scratch on there somewhere. A stone dent. So £100 worth of stone dent. 100% guaranteed. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so armour. Usual stuff here, 20, 40, 60, and 8 and 100. So the armor upgrade for 100% on this is 50 grand. Okay, 18 options on this one. So brakes, street, sport, and race. Race brakes, 35 grand. As we previously mentioned, we are going through every single DLC car that's available on GTA 5 online, irrespective of whatever update it came through, and we're doing the lot. Uh, and on this one, you've obviously got the Turismo R. So we are at the engine tunes. We are EMS upgrade level four, 33 and a half grand. So we're gonna make this thing move. Okay, so nearly caught, we're caught all the way through the options nearly. Exhaust, so you've got oval, chrome tip, and race. Three grand for race exhaust, little titanium bits on the end. Yes, thank you. Okay, explosives, no. Horn, no. Lights. I get asked by people all the time, why don't I do the explosives and the horn? Why the fuck would I want to blow my own car up? And why would I want to spend that much money on a horn that I'm never going to use? I'm not going to beat my horn just because someone's in my way. I'm just going to fucking run over them. What's the... I don't, I don't understand some people. Some people are too civilised on GTA. Okay, so we've done the Xenons. Neon layout, 30 grand for the front, back and sides. Again, all sort of pretty standard stuff. Okay, and lost theft prevention. We own this car, so we don't need that. Plates. Again, these are all the same. Yellow and black, 600 grand. We've got SRUK plates on it already. Okay, dokey. Reese Frey, I think we'll come back to. Roof. Let's have a look and see what we can do with the roof. So stock roof, which looks like carbon fibre, and a painted roof, which looks like not a great deal different. Let's have a look again. Yeah, I suppose it's a little bit different. Just a little bit different. Let's go with a painted one. We can always change it. It's not expensive. That's 700 quid. Okay, we're not going to sell it. Spoiler. Okay, let's get this thing looking meaty and nasty. Okay, carbon wing, just over seven grand, and a GT wing at 10,000. That looks so much better, peeps. GT wing, 10 grand, all the way. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her. Mm. Yeah, it's looking like a proper car now. Okay, suspension. Are we really getting a suspension upgrade on this? Oh, cool. Okay, so we're going to lower this thing even more. So, lowered street sport and competition. How much, how much is it going down? Rockstar, I feel ripped off. <laughs> fucking barely moved. Picture perfect Four thousand four hundred pound for for lowering it about the size of a postage stamp. Really? Okay. 
Transmissions, street, sports and race. Race transmission, 40 grand. I think for this type of car, it's going to be worth it. You could probably use this one for doing your races and, and bits and bobs if you haven't got uh, uh, any other cars or you've got one locked up uh, in the police station. You can use this one as an alternative, no doubt. Turbo charger, 50 grand. Bear in mind that this car's stock was just it was 899 horsepower, so it's no slouch, guys. Okie dokie. Okay, a couple more left. So we've got wheels next, I would imagine. Yep. So we'll leave them for a minute. And windows. So let's tint these bad boys. Light smoke, dark smoke, and limo tint. I think the way forward is going to be obviously the limo. So we'll do that. Okay. Well, there you have it. That was 18 categories. That's all the options that you can see on a Grotty Turismo R. We are now going to have a little bit of a play around with the options that you've seen. Play around with a few of the colour combinations and the wheels, etc. And um, see what sort of flavour we can come up with. Do you know what? If I'd have said I'm going to have an orange car in my garage, or someone said get an orange car for your garage, I would have probably punched them in the face. But that thing looks really cool. That's a fucking beautiful colour. Orange with a, a yellow pearlescent. Um, obviously, you can see we've got them with a coloured roof. Changed the wheels, they're black. Obviously, upgraded the tyres. Put them ground out on the floor. That looks nice. It goes, it really goes. Listen how quick them gear changes are. This thing really flies. They no, don't handle too bad either. Not sure about the little. Uh, a little fart wastegate, little dump valve that's the turbo's jetting off. Oh shit! This thing is is not bad, you know. I say 900 brake is standard. We've just boosted the nuts out of it. Okay, garage time. Let's put it in and check this shit out. There you have it. That is what we have done with a grotty Turismo R. You've seen all the options. As I say, you've seen all the categories, you've seen what you can do with it. I'd recommend you get this car. I quite like it. In fact, I really like it. I think it's a cool looking car. Uh, it's a little bit different to the other supercars or the hypercars that you can get. But it's definitely worth having because you will take it out once in a while for a spin just purely because of the way that it looks, I think. But there you go. That was Grotty Turismo R. This has been System Restore UK. Once again for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. This has been another video, one of the video, one of the many videos for the uh, walkthroughs we're doing on all the DLC cars that have come out on GTA 5 Online. If you like what you've seen, hit the like button and obviously the, the big subscription button that sits next to it. And we'll see you again on the next video.